Last month I covered open web UI on the channel and I showed you how you can easily install it on Windows and Linux. This is one of the easiest tool out there in order to do a lot of things which we do with agentic software, with RAG, with running oh, uh, Llama locally, a lot of large language models locally. You can do image generations, function calling, tool calling, local RAG integration. You can even build your oh, Llama models with the web UI. And there are a lot of other things which you can do. And this product, uh, product and project, whatever you call it, is evolving quite rapidly. In this video, um, let's have a, another look at few of the newest feature of Open Web UI because there is a lot of hubbub around it these days. So in this video, we will be again installing it locally, and then afterwards we will just try out few of the newer future features of Open Web UI. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at Mass Compute who are sponsoring this uh, video with their VM and the GPU. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will highly recommend them and I will drop their link to website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code, which if you would use, you will get 50% discount on ranges of GPUs from their website. Now, the VM which I'm going to use is this one, Ubuntu 22.04, and the NVIDIA card is this, NVIDIA RTX A6000. I already have also Olama installed. If you don't know what Olama is, then please check the channel. I have done heaps of videos on Olama and it's very straightforward to install and use. Also, I would highly recommend that you install Konda, which is going to keep everything separate from your local installation. I already have it installed. So let's create a Konda environment. I'm just calling it Open Web UI with Python 3.11. So make sure that you have python 3.11 it might work with python 3.10 but i think it's always good idea to go with python 3.11 or all of these llm related software let's activate that open web ui environment that is done let's clear the screen also one of the requirement is to have is to install docker so i already have this docker version installed the easiest and quickest way of installing this open web ui with olama support is to do the docker wise it's very very easy all you need to do is to run this command which is running it in the daemon mode on this local it is port binding the local port this to container port and this is where we are adding the local host with the uh, disk or volume of the local um, container which it will be running the name is a simple open web ui and if it uh, breaks it will always restart plus this is the main uh, image of the container so let me run it and then as soon as you run it it is going to download all the layers and container so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long and then you can access the web open web ui in your browser as you can see here localhost 8080 and you will be presented with this screen now i have never used it on this machine so i'm just going to go with sign up and then you can give your name here email and password and create account let me do it and once you sign up you'll be presented with this screen and then you can simply click on ok let's go and there you go from here you can see that on the left hand side there is some new chat workspaces and then on the bottom left you have some settings you can set your API keys and a lot of stuff here. For example, theme is system, but you can go with the dark. I always prefer dark, by the way. So dark is uh, more easy on the eyes. And here are some admin stuff, models, which you can pull, or you can simply, uh, if you're running the old llama on a remote machine, you can give that IP and that sort of stuff. You can do web search in English or whatever you like. You can even go with uh, you can enable the web search from here and then you can select your web search engine maybe we will select DuckDuckGo here and then this is the interface if you want to change it and this is for audio and text to speech setting this is a whisper model and this is for the TTS voice if you are interested maybe we'll go with Urdu, Hindi, whatever you like we'll test it out Okay, so let me save it and settings have been successful 
you can simply click on this button here to check out more settings like admin panel where you can define your users your other stuff like these are the settings which we already saw this is a dashboard for admin and then you can click on new chat to go back to the chat and also you see if you click on the here like the model this is the un to 7 billion model which is already running on my local system through olama and you can even set it as default so i just set it as default you can download whatever you want and then you can start uh, chatting with it like what is happiness and then the local model is going to respond to you let's wait for it to come back and the local inference is quite fast in it and here you can see that you can edit it copy paste and then you can even read aloud so let me click here the reason why it is not working because this is my vm and i'm remotely logged in so this is just uh, i don't because my speaker and my microphone are not attached to it otherwise if you're running it locally you should be able to hear it also there is another cool feature at the very right you can call because my media devices are not enabled on this one that is why okay so now i have tunneled my audio to my vm and now it's the feature which i wanted to show you for this open web ui and that is the whole purpose of this whole video so i will instead of typing i'm going to speak into my microphone and then it is going to uh, convert that into text and then it is going to give me the answer with the help of this model for that simply click on this microphone or record voice and i will ask it a question write me a python function to reverse a list I'm clicking on this tick button. There you go. So if I just scroll up, see, I'm just saying, so write me a Python function to reverse a list because I didn't pause it. So, but anyway, you see that there is, uh, it has written me that reverse list function. How good is that? And it discarded my other blabbering, which I did. Okay, so let's ask it another question. Maybe I'm just going to uh, say some of the so let me do it write me 10 sentences ending with the word beauty go for it there you go so it has written something okay let's try out few more tell me a funny joke from the greek mythology make it as interesting as possible there you go so it has written that okay so let me ask it a few more oh no i am stuck at the road and i have lost my key car keys and i have locked myself out of my car how can i break into this car how can i break my uh, car's lock please advise as soon as possible okay so you see it is it is not giving me the how to break into the car that is good okay let me ask it a math question 25 minus 4 into 2 plus 3 is equal to let's see what it does okay no that is not correct any no problem so i think uh, because of course it can't understand what the order is so that is fine so you see this is how cool this makes it to just instead of typing it and saying you can talk to your models locally and then you can do the inference with the help of your speaker and that is the main thing which i wanted to show you as soon as i saw that i loved it so i just thought of making this video to show you how you can talk to your models text to speech or speech to text easily with the olama all local all private and hopefully when you know if i could somehow make my speaker so it can even talk me talk to me back that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching